I just finished my abs and core, which I do every other day. Now I'm gonna go run my mile. I put my phone in my little fanny pack and I put my fanny pack around myself. It's so handy to run. And I put my house keys in there as well. Let's go run. Today I have a better attitude, so it should be a better run. Let's go. Today, my legs did not want to cooperate. I was running fine. I was just sore, like my calves and my thighs and my booty. It was all just sore, sore, sore. It's usually my heavy, my breathing that gets me and be like, oh my gosh, I'm done. But today it was my legs. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Oh, don't get me wrong. I was still doing the heavy breathing today, but my goodness, them legs were screaming. <sighs> they're still kind of screaming because they're still at work. <laughs> uh, so funny. Anyway, hi, how's it going? Good, good. What you gonna do today? Hope it's amazing. the fanny pack because amazing okay first form check this out got a little back zipper back here front zipper this is where I usually put my phone except for on my run my runs I put my phone in a big pocket you got all these different compartments here okay all these I have it sort of empty right now because of running with it. I didn't want it like super heavy obviously and since I stick my phone in here whenever I reach for my phone I don't want other things jostling out. Anyway adjustable strap right here. So cool. So this is how I wear it when I run and probably during the summer when I walk I'll probably be wearing it around my waist. This is how I wear it usually when we go to like the store or something. Like it doubles as like a purse which is super cool and super convenient like it can fit underneath my jacket and stuff like that too if i need it to super cool it'd be really cool to get some of these in the patriot gear as well now this one's first form epic oh yeah anyway these are cool like bringing back the fanny pack let's go now Good morning. Um, how are you? <laughs> it's Thursday. We're mostly through the week. And today I started off my day with a three mile ruck with Josh Becker and the team. And it was an amazing time. Um, we worked together to carry various items three miles with the ruck on our back. And it was lots of fun. Uh, you. You learn a lot when you do something like that as a group. You learn a lot about each other. You learn a lot about leading. Um, and it's just, it's an amazing thing. If you ever get the chance to do it, you should definitely try. Then I came right in and did some shoulders, some overhead press, overhead press with uh, Brian and Diane and John Six and Jason as usual. And that was lots of fun too. Uh, definitely burned out them shoulders between the ruck and lifting. My shoulders are definitely done. Um, oh, you're never gonna learn anything unless you give it a try. All this stuff that, you, that we wanna do in life, if we don't give it a try, we'll, we'll never know whether we could do it or couldn't do it or whether we'll like it or don't like it. You can't judge something until you give it a shot. 
and that's something we all know but something we also all need reminded of all the time so get out there go for a walk drink some water and give give health a try you can do it you can do it i know i know you can i believe in you i love you and i'll talk to you later One, two, fashion fidget doll. She gave all of me a dress, and it's so uncomfortable. One, two, three, four. Five plus three. One, two, three. Wait, wrong one. Jack, can we take pictures together? I, I, <laughs> I don't have my piece of candy anymore. That's Gracie's day. She has a, a, a not jaw spice, breaker. a jawbreaker, but it's grape, right? Mm -hmm. It's grape and it's not spicy. Whew. Well, that run was all sorts of uncomfy. Uh, my shins hurt. I had a side cramp halfway through. My pants are chafing on my legs. My glasses are fogging up. My shoes didn't feel right. I felt unfocused and scattered. But I still got out here. I pushed past the discomfort and I got it done. The circumstances are never gonna be all perfect. All at the same time. They're gonna be thrown at you like a bunch of puzzle pieces. You gotta take all those circumstances and you gotta put them in the right order. You're the one who has to make the best of all of them. You gotta push past all the discomfort, all the scatteredness in your brain, and you gotta put all those puzzle pieces together to make the perfect moment. And you're gonna fail along the way. Sometimes you're not gonna get it all put together in time. And that just happens sometimes. But also in those times, just like I tell my kids, you can either learn from the situation or you can choose to throw a fit and beat yourself up and learn nothing from the situation and do the same thing again the next time. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna learn from these situations. We're gonna learn from the discomforts that way, we don't make the same mistake next time. We're going to move forward and make progress. 
I love you guys. Take that first step. It's all it takes. It's the hardest step sometimes. Sometimes the 10th step's the hardest one. And the first one's definitely tough, but you can do it. You can do it. I know I'm still talking on here, talking on here a lot right now, but sometimes running does that to you. Um, but I did want to say, I never, never ever thought I would be able to run more than a mile. And now I'm training for my first marathon. So I know you guys can do it. Whoever out there needs to hear it, you can do it. Like I said, take the first step. You can do it. You'll never know until you take that first step. And you will probably, most definitely, surprise yourself. All right, I'm done talking now. Have a wonderful evening. I just spent the last like 15 minutes um, writing down a lot of things that I'm grateful for in my journal and I got on here to suggest that you guys do that too I know I probably say that a lot but it's really really helpful if you just sit down with a blank piece of paper start with things that you're grateful for and then just let it let it whatever comes to your mind just write it out no matter what it is just write it out that way you can get your brain out on paper it helps a lot it takes a lot of burden stress cloudiness it takes it all out and puts it right up there right on the paper right in physical form do it start with gratefulness and if that's all you do is write everything that you're grateful for every small thing like your bed like small things, big things, everything, anything that comes to mind, just take the time today, right now, and write everything that you're grateful for, everything that comes to your head. Also, it's leg day today, so I'm going to run first and then do my leg exercises. Last time I did legs first and then ran, and I was kind of hard because my legs were super stiff while I was running, so I'm gonna try running first this time and then doing my legs and see which one works better because I know that I'll probably be doing that several times to finish out this month of a mile a day. So let's go running. Well, I just got done running my fastest mile. I didn't necessarily do that on purpose, but that was kind of cool. Still sucked. I did not like running. And my lungs feel a little on fire because the wind is whipping and it's whipping the coldness of air. Anyway, I just kept telling myself, just go, just go. 
like sometimes I'll be like, just keep going. But this time I was like, I was a little bit more stern with myself. I'm like, just go, just go. And then it turned into go, go. <laughs> and I like got louder and meaner, but I know that a mile is not a lot to some people. It's still a lot to me, so fucking go. Good morning, leg day. Did our five by five squats and then we repped out on the belt squat with some kettlebell swings in between um, and a couple shots on the basketball hoop. Anyway, great workout. My legs are tired, kind of wobbly, uh, but feeling good, feeling ready for an amazing Friday. Um, I am extremely happy it's Friday, mostly because I'm excited for the weekend. Um, I do have a 20 mile run this weekend that I'm not too excited for, except for the fact that it's going to be a chance to push myself and find new limits. While I was doing some kettlebell swings, I was talking to Brian and uh, I was telling him that there's some things that sometimes I feel like I can't relate to certain people about. And he reminded me that we all have different stories. We can all relate to people in different ways. Like I might not be able to relate to you in areas of fat loss or um, church or anything like that. Um, building Legos, even uh, playing Barbies, anything that you may enjoy, I might not be able to relate to it, but somebody else will. There's plenty of people in this world and we can all find different ways to relate to each other. It might not be what we originally think we can relate on, but it might be something surprising. Like today, I also met a couple new gentlemen that enjoy building things and making things like rings and woodworking, stuff like that. And that's something I really enjoy as well. And so I was able to relate to him on that note, which was really cool. Anyway, I don't know if that's gonna help you at all, but get out there, meet somebody new, find something that you can relate to somebody on. Just spread the love, be kind. We all have something to give and we all have something to receive and to learn. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later.
You and me together. I love you. I love you too. What do you got, Angie? Mommy's wearing that shirt. I'm just kidding. She's not. Cool. Yesterday was. Yes, Come on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a hoodie. Oh, oh. You that. Awesome. Hey, and look on that side. It said maybe it can fly. Oh. And look at that cool hoodie. What's up guys? Hope you had an amazing Saturday. Uh, I took a little bit of a rest day today. I've got a 20 mile run tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about it, but I know it's gonna be a good good run. I'm gonna be running it with, with John Six and Mason's also gonna come out there and run some with us as well. And I think it's gonna be a good time. Out here walking with my girl. We're a little bundled up because it's got this nice peaceful drizzle. <laughs> and we were just talking about how sometimes you can get so wrapped up in trying to help others. And sometimes you forget to help yourself. But you can't really do it that way because if you don't help yourself... Eventually, you're going to run dry and you're not going to be able to help anybody else. All right? That's right. You first. So make sure you get out there. Do something for yourself. That way you can continue to do stuff for others. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.